I'm sorry to do this, but President Trump has a very extreme screening process to ensure that we are keeping undesirables out of America. So let's begin. Um, okay. Question number one. Do you believe in Sharia law? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. Really? Yes. Are you sure, sure? Uh, yes, I am sure that I do not believe in Sharia law. Okay, awesome. Okay. That's good news. All right. All right, thanks. Tara says what? What? Ha <laughs> ha! I got you. What? Take him away. What? Ow! Ow! <laughs> what? Bye-bye. Tune in on TMI. Lovers and souls. Jimmy get charitable and lives get bigger. With music by the employment and our special guest, Bryce Johnson. Tonight on TMI. Actually, I have a lot of gay fans, so... <laughs> yeah, no, 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 totally, I'm totally straight. I just really like well-written mystery shows that appeal to, you know, mostly teenage female audience. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, sure you do. No, seriously. Hey, whatever you say, Jess. Uh, Jess, you know, actually, I got a new friend in town, and he would love it if you showed him around. Dude, Perfect. I'm straight! <laughs> hey, uh, so is he. He'd just really like to have someone show him around. I, I would do it, but my sense of direction is for shit. OMG, which again means, oh my god, I'm also directionally challenged, Tom. Last time I was on my way to the Hollywood Bowl, I wound up in Philly. Wait, Jen, you ended up in Philadelphia? Uh, no, Philly, it's a blunt shop in Compton. <laughs> yeah, I know that place. I went there once for my glaucoma. And I, by the way, I'm still straight. Listen, Jess, you're... Your sexual preference, it, it, it doesn't matter here. Now why don't you guys uh, pitch me some stories before Jesse here has a hissy fit. DUDE! Great, come on. Well, oh, Gawker was sold this week to the Spanish media giant Univision. Hey, uh, I took Spanish in high school, Jen. What does that have to do with the story, Jess? Nothing, I was just trying to impress you. Did it work? See. Si. <laughs> See, straight. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, um, anyway, the remake of Ben-Hur, right. that just came out, and oh, the critics are ripping it to shreds. Yeah, they're totally PO'd that someone would take a classic movie like that and try to remake her. Yeah, they should. <laughs> Shocking, right? Well, you know what, maybe what they should have done is made it like a buddy rom-com. Well, how would they do that, Carrie? Maybe something like this. Coming soon from Paramount Pictures. Friends! Romans! Countrymen! Ah, 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 ah. We may be Romans and we may be countrymen, but we damn sure ain't friends. It's the wackiest, factually correct rom com of all time. Ben him and her. Nice attitude, babe. Where'd you learn your manners in the slave quarters? Bitch, did you just call me a slave? The Israelites were slaves to the Romans. You're an Israelite. Just say it, babe. Say one more thing, and you're gonna need to beg for my foot to come out your ass. Now you're going to get it. No, you are going to get it. Here comes my friend, Pontius Pilate. When he hears what you have said, he's going to crucify you. I don't mean in a figurative sense. Pontius! What's up, my real man? Judah Ben-Hur? Speaking of her. Oh, <laughs> you're speaking of my girl. Yes, yes, we met at the auction in Macedonia. I saw her from across the room, and I said, I simply must have her. So I bought her. Lies. There ain't enough Daenerys in the world that can help him afford all this. Well, I must say, John, I'm quite surprised to see you consorting in slavery. Did you just call me a slave? Ugh, get used to it, girlfriend. Pilot got no respect. David Chlamydia! Did I permit you to speak? <laughs> Judah, 
I apologize for my sex slave chlamydia. I shall have to punish her later with my swart of love. More like a pocket knife of love, dude. Oh, no. snap. You are gonna, you are gonna get it, chlamydia. You are gonna get it, good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Daddy. how bad you want oh, this chlamydia? I'm, I'm itching for it, I'm burning for it. Oh, I, I can't wait to get it. Oh, you're gonna get it so good. Why, oh, why don't you two get a room? Thank the gods, her name has no alternate meaning, otherwise this might get uncomfortable. Yes, yes, thank the gods. Now, back to my problem. I don't know if you're gonna do anything with her. I, I want to return her, but I seem to have lost the receipt. Well, what can I do for you? Well, I thought maybe she could become your cross to bear, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not following. Ah, well, uh, maybe you could punish her for making me so cross. Did you get my meaning? <laughs> cross. Still nothing. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, uh, we've come to a crossroads in our relationship. You know, crossroads. I just really wish you'd be less vague. And stop it with the hand quoting. I uh, wish you'd do that. His bitch ass wants you to crucify me. Aha, I see, yes. Yes, no. I cannot do that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> For you are both in love. What? Get no, the fuck seriously? Out of here. Seriously. I am not, not in love, love with you. her. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> I was not expecting this. We are very much in love. Wow, I hate this a bitch. I never saw this coming. <laughs> it was pretty obvious. Comedia! It was pretty obvious. I mean, <laughs> after all, this is a rom-com and somebody must be in love. It's certainly not going to be me and a sex slave. Up job. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, Bodges, Esther and I obviously have to get married. This is a rom-com. Would you be a pal and officiate? I can't, but I know a dude. Yo, Jesus! <laughs> Somebody call Jesus? <laughs> Jesus, would you do me a solid and wed my bro and his new lady? Yeah, sure, but uh, I didn't bring my Torah, so if I happen to miss a thing or two. Nobody crucified me for it. Then <laughs> 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 him and her coming soon to a theater that's not afraid to be burned down by the wrath of God. For all the news you tried to miss, I'm Casey Spivey. This is the TMI Minute. American swimmer Ryan Lochte may face criminal charges for lying about being robbed at gunpoint in Rio. As if swimming in Brazil's water wasn't punishment enough. In a surprise move, Donald Trump admitted to saying things he now regrets. Topping the list of things he shouldn't have said, hey, how much for the spray tan? Comedy Central announced the cancellation of the nightly show with Larry Wilmore. This was done via telephone to all 17 of Wilmore's viewers. The Los Angeles police have arrested a man for allegedly stalking Kendall Jenner. Apparently he wasn't too hard to find as he was the only person following Kendall without a camera. Amber Heard decided to donate the $7 million settlement from her divorce with Johnny Depp to women's charities. Not to be outdone, Johnny promised to give money to anyone who suffered through his movies. When a story breaks in Hollywood, we'll be there with the crazy glue. <laughs> so I told him if it doesn't come tomorrow, then we did ship it. <laughs> Nothing like work based humor. Right now, excuse me while I get back to my news. <laughs> Stacy, why do you even bother with that stuff? I'm 27 years old, single, and the only thing I'm snuggling up to in my studio apartment at night is my cat. The news is all I have. <laughs> well, it's not even news, it's just celebrity gossip. Well, either way, it's more exciting than my life. Now I'm gonna see what's happening with the Beebs and Lionel Richie's daughter. Wait, Justin Bieber is dating Nicole Richie? No, he's dating Lionel's 17-year-old daughter. Get out of town! No, it's true, and Justin Bieber's fans got so upset that the Beebs had to make his Instagram account private. No way! Let's see what Gawker has to say about them today. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Huh. It's weird. There doesn't seem to be anything about them on the site today. Well, maybe there's something more interesting that, like, kicked it right off the, the front page. Okay, well, uh... Oh, it seems like there's some bad blood between Los Tigres del Norte and uh, Horoscopos de Durango. 
Who? Uh, <laughs> Los T. I don't know. I have no idea who these people are. Okay, well, maybe they're a new band. It's so hard to keep up with new music since Idol's been canceled. Okay, okay, uh, okay well, there's a story about how Miyuko Marcos and uh, Yannick's tuxedo are able to keep their divorce amicable for the sake of their kids. Who is this? I have no idea. I don't know who any of these people are. Do you, see, do you know any of these people in Gawker? I don't know. Let me see. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know that person. Don't know that person. Don't recognize that person at all. I don't know any of these people. Wait, do you know who um, La Tigressa is? No, God, I don't know who La Tigressa is. Oh, God. Wait, can you explain to me why all of these guys are wearing cowboy hats? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't get it. I knew I'd find you two slifers in here. Oh, hey. hey, do you know who um, Sebastian Ruley is? No, but I mean, he's, he's hot. He's kind of like Brad Pitt hot, but I mean, that's if Brad Pitt wore giant belt buckles and cowboy boots. Who is he? We have no idea, but he and uh, Angelique Boyer just finished a month long cruise together. Who's Angelique Boyer? Oh, God, we have no idea. I don't know. We really don't know. Oh, my God, I'm so confused. Yeah, guys. we all are. What's up, ladies? What's shaking? Rick, we're in the middle of a crisis! What is it, the Peterson account? <laughs> they'll realize their own prices are the lowest town and they'll be back. Rick, it's not the Peterson account. It's Gawker. They're just telling stories about people who we don't know. Oh. Looks like Univision finally is taking over. You know what? This is what Trump warned us about. Wait, wait. Univision? Trump? I mean, what are you talking about? Univision bought Gawker Media. I guess now they're adding their Latin American stars to their feed. Again, Trump told us they were gonna take our jobs. Now they're trying to take our websites too. You know, we really have to go door to door for him, you guys. <laughs> You're right, that makes sense. No wonder no one, none of these people are American. They must be from like Mexico? Yeah. Wait, wait, how can you tell that, Stacy? When was the last time you saw this many mustaches and stonewashed jeans? Oh my God, you're right. Damn you, Univision! Oh, I, I can't believe they bought Gawker! Jerry, not only did they buy Gawker, they bought all of their other media sites for $135 million. That's money they should have spent on helping us to build the wall. Yeah! Oh my yeah. God, you're right. Sabado Gizmodo, ay 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 oh night. Deadspin is now called Morte Spin. Oh my God, people are gonna go loco. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Rick, I'm on mortespin.com looking for news about the Dodgers, but who the hell are Rafael Marquez and Andres Guantado? I All right, so uh, what else you guys got? Um, due to sinking poll numbers and allegations of ties to Russia, Paul Manafort uh, dropped out as Donald Trump's campaign manager. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Things continue at this rate. Trump's going to have to replace uh, his campaign staff until he's orange in the face. <laughs> Burbank and Orange County airports are concerned about a billboard for Mariah Carey's Vegas show because her boobs are barely covered and they think it's indecent. Well, you know, at least we know that in the event of a water landing, at least that billboard will be equipped with flotation devices. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna get my stuff. Really. No, 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 get out. This is it. You're dead to us. <laughs> yeah, you're. So. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Oxygen mask. <laughs> That's not an oxygen mask. <laughs> oh, you kill me. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, oh, Dave. Dave, you make flying the friendly sky so, so much fun. <laughs> well, I try. You know, this Vegas to Burbank ride can get pretty tedious. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're telling me. But uh, it's all about trying to make the day a little more fun, you know? Mm hmm. Well, looks like we're just about ready to land. Uh, right. you know. Flaps up, landing gear down. What is that? What? There on the horizon. Can you see them? Is that? Is that Mariah Carey's boobs on a billboard? <laughs> hey, they're huge! And just barely covered by a golden sheet. Of oh so little to the imagination. Oh. I, I, oh. I, uh, I'm so distracted. I. Oh my god! We're off course! We're heading straight for them! I can't see a thing. I think I've gone boot blind. Oh, turn! Turn! I'm trying. We've hit an air pocket. Oh god! 
Blake 293, you're out of course. What is your reading? <laughs> Mariah Carey's melons. I'm, I'm sorry, Pete. <laughs> We're heading straight for the billboard size cans of Mariah Carey. Blake 293, stand by. Oh my God. I can't stop staring at It's like looking into two enormous suns. I don't know. We're flying directly into Mariah Carey's gigantic globes. I... Her, her what? Oh my god! Unbelievable! Aren't they? They're okay! They're huge! They certainly are big! Flight yeah. 293, are you there? We're here, we're here. You need to go ahead and land just below those sexy, sexy billboards. Tower, I, I can't do it. I can't handle those honey hams. I, and I've never landed a plane before! What? Yes, it's Tower. true. Tower, don't you know that the average man can't look at boobs without being driven to distraction? That's why women can't breastfeed in public! Then you've got to find someone on that plane who can land it, and who won't be distracted by a giant pair of knackers. Should, should, we, should we find a gay pilot? Carol, did you just make the announcement? Really, Carol, you couldn't just suggest a female pilot? I'm sorry, it's a terrifying situation up here, and I'm just trying to make sure that we don't die! <laughs> okay, just make the announcement, Carol. Fine! Ladies and gentlemen, is there anyone on, the board, on board today that can fly a plane and would not be distracted by near nudity? All we can do now is just pray on it. <laughs> Are you sure you can't just land the plane yourself? How did you see those hooters? Please, <laughs> Jesus. Save us! Save! Church, I'll need someone who could land a plane. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank God! Well, all right. Step aside then. I can handle that. Can you handle those? Yeah, they're all right. All right! They're huge! Yeah, I know. I know. Are you sure you're not going to get distracted by sweater puppies the size of grizzlies? Oh, sure, boy. Now get up. We got a plane to land. Come on. Come on now. All right. Get all right. Up. All right. All right. Tower, this is Sam. I'm taking her in. Flight 293, you are clear to land. And God bless you for stepping up to the challenge. You're a hero today. Oh, no, I'm no hero. I'm just a man who can fly. Can we ask why you weren't distracted? Yeah, are, are you married? Nope. Are you gay? Carol. No. Sorry. Nope. What, what, what is it? You've just always been an ass man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that brought you Pretty Little Liars comes a show with twice as much lying. Freeform presents Pretty Big Liars. And I said to her, just because he did it yesterday doesn't mean he's going to do it tomorrow. <laughs> By the way, your dress is amazing. I love it. Oh my god, really? No, I was lying. <laughs> it would be great though if you're trying to land a plane in the dark. Or if you were trying to attract a large group of poor villagers so you could have a powwow and sell them tobacco and alcohol made from corn. <laughs> Pretty big liars. So, I said to him, um, nice try, but I already have two at home. <laughs> Those are our home. That's our home we're talking about. <laughs> Drill. Hey, Mom. Dad. Sorry to interrupt during cocktail hour. What is it, little Jimmy? Well, I... It's... It's... Oh, come on, spit it out, young man. You can't be so bad. Well, I got my girlfriend Lexi pregnant. We're keeping the baby. <gasps> my word! So tell me, you didn't make the biggest mistake of your life. I did, and I was lying. <laughs> Look, we haven't even been past second base yet. At least, I think it's second base. Dad, which is the one where you have to wash your fingers after? And hey, can I borrow 20 bucks to go to the movies? Oh, you little rascal. I, I think that's third base, and don't touch my head. That's first. Okay. Right. <laughs> Come over here. Pretty big liars. So I said to him, that's fine, as long as you're planning on paying. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, bitches. Oh, it's Detective Darren Wilden! My god, man. We thought you died in season four. Well, to be fair, I was dead. But not really dead. Not really dead? No. More like television dead. 
where you just look dead, and then they have a funeral for you, and then they bury you, and you only make appearances in flashbacks and dream sequences, which can really affect your paycheck. But then you finally come back, because you were never really dead. Oh, that kind of dead. Yes, exactly. So I apologize for my appearance, but I was buried underground for two years, where I had to claw my way out of a premature grave and dig through several levels of dirt and debris. Oh, my heavens! <laughs> Clawed your way out of a grave? I do not believe that. Well, that's good, because it never really happened. I lied. <laughs> I actually just slipped on some uh, a patch of mud in your driveway. You know, you really should consider concrete. It's a much better option than dirt and gravel. As a matter of fact, there was a home study sale in 2015 which stated homes that had a concrete driveway had a resale value of about 2 to 5% more than uh, one with gravel. If you want, I can give you the guy's number. We just might take you up on that. You really should. <laughs> yeah. Pretty big liars. And then he says to me, last chance, because once I put it back, it's not coming out again. Oh, that nasty dog! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hey, Tyler, you, you okay? My daughter's gone missing. What? And I'm certain that at least one of your children knows where she is. Not mine! Mine either. Not mine. Or mine. Or, or ours. ours? I can't have kids because of a bicycle accident. Couldn't have been my children. I was dead. Was I? I'm going to the movies. <laughs> well, my daughter is missing, which means only one thing. Somebody in this room must be lying. <laughs> okay, it's me. I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got gotcha. Yeah, she's at home in bed. Not my home. She's uh, at my ex-wife's home. She's in bed. We got a divorce because she realized she still doesn't realize that erectile dysfunction isn't something a guy can just readily turn off. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a pill for it. There's a pill. <laughs> Pretty big liars. Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Seriously, that's really the time I'm not going. Ladies and gentlemen, the employment.
the only show that features John Mayer's unique political opinion. Here is your host, John Mayer. Is my show. Boom. Today on the John Mayer Show, we're going to be talking and seeing what's happening in the 2016 presidential elections with my special guest, former the Donald Trump campaign manager, Mr. Paul Manafort. I want to run. John? Sit down. <laughs> Over there. All right. Okay. okay. I do spins. So you know. It's your show. So, mm -hmm. what's the plan, man, I thought? Well, I've been uh, keeping myself busy, you know. Well, you know, like, I mean, seriously, since you've been done doing the Trump campaign, what are your plans? Well, I've, as I was just saying, I've been keeping myself busy doing a little bit of this and that. Huh, a little bit of this and that, I can relate. I did that last night. <laughs> what? Melee twins, twice the fun, half the size, boom. Uh, I don't understand, you know, forget it. Back to the election, mm. I decided to step down to allow some, some fresh faces to inject new energy into the Trump campaign. And yes, it was hard to leave the election just as things were getting heated up. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with getting a little hot. Am I right? I was using hot in the figurative, John. You know what I'm talking about? Steamy shower for dose. The glass is getting all steamy with me. Sweat running down your face. And you're thinking, you're, you're thinking to yourself, Mama, you may be getting wet, but ain't nobody getting clean tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't catch your drift. Huh. Well, then maybe you better hop in your dinghy and float. Um, okay. Uh, well, I was receiving a lot of criticism for Mr. Trump's poll numbers going down, mm. but I... Like I always say, if your polls are down, sometimes you just need a little something something to help it get back up. <laughs> you feel me? Viagra. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mm, if you don't know and you can't show, then you might want to blow. <laughs> I really have no idea what you're talking about. Mm, you're totally correct. This seems to be the perfect opportunity to take a few questions from our audience. But, but what about the election, John? <laughs> Dude, sometimes it's good to rock the vote, other times it's good to just let it roll. What the hell are you talking okay, about? Okay, now you are a dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> you. Hey, John. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Got for me, Rancho. Um, I actually had a question for Mr. Manafort. Oh, okay, great. 
Um, Mr. Manafort, uh -huh. uh, since you led the Trump campaign, yeah. uh, wouldn't you agree that one way to make America great again mm -hmm. uh, would be for John Mayer to take me home tonight? Ah! Uh, miss, that is not what that slogan What do you say, baby, later on tonight? You and I pretend to be Democrats and act stronger together. <gasps> <laughs> Hashtag, I'm with her. Oh my God. And her, and her. Oh my God. Oh God, okay. Any other questions? Oh my God. You, hurry up before she screams. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Mr. Manafort. Oh, yeah. Uh, Donald Trump supports the ban on Muslims. Yep. Mm -hmm. Would you support the ban on John Mayer's content breaking if it made so funny up? <laughs> Young lady, this is not Let's the just time say that's one immigration policy that I can't get behind. Oh, oh we're so lucky! <laughs> This is worse than listening to Ben Carson. <laughs> you know, when I, when I was asked to be on a Sunday evening political talk show hosted by John Mayer, I thought that we might actually talk politics. <laughs> you know what they say about politics, it's just about someone trying to get to the top while someone else is going down. <laughs> you feel me? No, I don't feel you. You know what? I don't feel any of this. You, you douchebag. <gasps> Zouchies. <laughs> Looks like man's not a fan. <laughs> well, that's all the time we got for this week's show. Join us next week when we talk about the possibility of voter fraud with my special guest, former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich and Liam from 1D. Until then, remember. joke about how everyone in Rio is going to get the Zika virus. Ooh, I saw that. Yeah, that's great. Oh my gosh, this is the first time Demi Lovato's made a video that everybody cared about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so MTV just premiered a new show called Unlocking the Truth, mm. where they investigate crimes to see if people have been like wrongly convicted. Oh my god. Does everyone have a mystery show nowadays? <sighs> well, you know, I mean, everything on the CW is a mystery to me. I mean, like how everything got in the air that is. Uh, <laughs> I wonder what's next. Mm.
you find out? Well, went to the biblioteca to find out what I could see about this murdered girl who did get killed, and now it's a mystery. Oh, <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> what else happened, Dora? Well, I found out that Christopher McKnight had a long history of arrest and a crippling heroin addiction, which is no bueno. No. <laughs> That means he succumbed to the disease of yeah. addiction, which my Uncle Charles says is a really hard disease to kick, especially over Sunday dinner at my grandparents' house. Uh, that's right. Uh, hey, Dora, what else happened? Well, when looking for evidence, we can always meet a sworn deposition. Do you guys want to help me? Uh, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, see, oh. see, see. Excellente. Puta said she siesta with Mr. McKnight, giving him an alibi so he couldn't have killed that girl on that terrible night. <laughs> wow! Wait, Dora, that prostitute Lucy Woods, didn't she say she was on cocaine? <laughs> That's cierto. Good job, Kaylita. But in the state of Arkansas, it's true that a person's testimony is valid, no matter their state of mind, even if they're loco in the cabeza on cocaine. <laughs> Great when Dora comes to help us out. I know. Wait, but before we close this case, let's bring out District Attorney William Clifford. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Clifford. What's up? Hello, children. Hey, we heard that he had another trial. Can you let us know what happened? That's true. He did. Using new technologies to investigate untampered evidence, we were able to conclude that Christopher McKnight was in fact guilty. He was also linked to a separate murder that occurred four years prior. He'll be facing additional criminal charges. Wow! wow. <laughs> that, that was so informative! Thank you so much! See you, Mr. McKnight! Mr. Clifford! <laughs> <laughs> well, that happened. Parker, we finished our assignment! Yeah! Yeah! Join us next week when we investigate a murder-suicide in Harris County, Oklahoma. But wait, was it really a suicide? New evidence may tell us otherwise. That's next week on Crime Time! Crime Time with Detectives Finley and Parker! This Wednesday at 8, only on Nickelodeon! Good evening, everyone. Before we go into our next sketch, here, we here at TMI would like to preface it with a special message. Yeah, you see, for the past four years, TMI has been producing several thought-provoking sketches about terrible medical conditions such as uh, Ebola, uh, polio, and if you remember earlier from tonight... Polio! <laughs> <laughs> about the Zika virus is very much the same. Yeah, but before we show it to you, we'd just like to preface it that we in no way, shape, or form make light of this terrible disease. No, instead, this is what our writers feel that vapid people like Demi Lovato feel about the, about the, the Zika virus. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, so please, <laughs> don't blame us. <laughs> please. No. <laughs> Demi Lovato. She sucks. Yes. Now, enjoy the sketch. <laughs> inject a dose of awesomeness and maybe a vaccine into the lives of those that are less awesome who are struggling with Zika. Fine, Demi, if you insist, but what are we doing in this recording studio? Well, I've been keeping a secret. You're not still planning on killing Carson Daly and taking his job, are you? A 
okay, I have two secrets. But the other one is that I've been working tirelessly for 20 minutes on a Zika virus charity song. And I invited all of my best friends here to help me sing it. What? You know, Nick Jonas and Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nicer than you think. <laughs> and this is the drummer from Five Seconds of Summer, and that's the lead singer from Depeche Mode. What? <laughs> oh, and she sings, Everybody Dance Now, from that song Gonna Make You Sweat by CNC Music Factory. Oh, but I... They didn't let me in the video, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Demi, look, it's, it's amazing that you brought all this incredible talent together, but do you really think that you need to do a charity song? How can I not do a charity song? My Levatics are asking for it. You know, they've been really down on me since the whole mom video thing happened. Listen, I really think you should take my advice and, and just ignore it. You gotta understand, Demi, your fans are fans of Demi Lovato. It's not like they're striving for excellence. Okay, that may be true. <laughs> of course, I could continue to lower the bar, but you know, every now and then, wouldn't it be nice to be high at a bar? I mean, have a high bar. So, with that being said, I present the Zika virus charity song. Whoa, 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 wait, hold on, hold on. Isn't that the music from We Are The World? Weird, you know that song? Yeah, a lot of people know it, Demi. It was a huge monster hit in 1985. Generated millions of dollars for impoverished Africans. All right, well, I'm pretty sure the impoverished don't have radios, so they probably won't even notice that we borrowed the tune. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> Give that ticket to me. 